Dr. William Ralston joins me now, the Vice President of the World Farmers Organization and a farmer from South Canterbury, as I understand it, New Zealand. Um, you're going to be talking to the debate, uh, and I wonder how you want to influence uh, the great and the good that are here today, William. Well, actually, I have already spoken at, at the debate, and uh, my message was around uh, making sure that farmers had access and opportunity for trade and, and uh, access and opportunity for new technologies. Talk to me about trade, because you know it is it is quite controversial. Not everybody wants free trade. Yes. Well, well, my message was really that uh, farmers need to be able to react to market signals and to what the consumer wants, and they'll do that uh, when they get. Uh, an open uh, trade economy, uh, where they're not been, where the messages aren't being blurred by by subsidies or tariffs or, or trade barriers. What did you hear in the forum in your session? What did you agree with? What did you disagree with? Uh, we we certainly agreed about access to t technology and, uh, and and a need to have a different conversation. I think uh, Mr. De Silva from the um, uh, FAO made the point that we need to use all the tools uh, in the toolbox to be able to meet our sustainability goals and I, I agree with that. So there was a bit of discussion around uh, you know, where Europe sits on that and, and in fact the difficult conversation that Europe has had around genetically modified organisms and now the new uh, gene editing technology that's, uh, that's available uh, to, to scientists, uh, it's more predictable it's more precise and it's actually very cheap. So in, in a sense it's democratised uh, the, the process of genetics and I think we're going to see some big tra changes and, and Europe needs to grasp this new technology uh, and, and look to see what it can uh, do in terms of sustainability to use that. Europe hasn't been very good at that, has it? Well, well I don't think it has. I think it's been, uh, it's had a difficult conversation and, uh, and I don't think it's got past that, but I think, I think they do need to start looking past it. Uh, we, we have uh, the issues of climate change ahead of us and also feeding a growing population and Europe can't stand isolated in terms of its uh, attitude to new technologies. It needs to be part of the whole global picture. From your experience, hearing messages today like um, for, um, big is bad, small and joined up is, is really important. How does that read through to you in your experience uh, and also when we're thinking about the implementation of the, of the Sustainable Development Goals? Well, I, I think if we're going to meet the Sustainable Development Goals, there's no one single answer. And so uh, good, uh, big can be good, uh, big can be bad, small can be good and small can be bad. We certainly have experience in New Zealand of large cooperatives uh, where farmers have joined together to, to market their pro and process their products and, and they have on the whole been pretty successful. So, so we have that model but we also have a private um, model as well and, and those, those models work together in the, in the industry and uh, at the end of the day the, the fewer impediments that are in front of farmers in terms of them being able to make the decisions about what they're going to produce and how they're going to produce it. Uh, I think is, uh, is, is the answer to give versatility in the economy and, and options for farmers. Finally then, give us a, a feeling of sentiment really, you know, your optimism, your pessimism for being able to feed this ever-growing population but decoupling it from you know, huge economic growth and environmental degradation. But again, I, I am optimistic. I, I think it's a game of, of two halves if you like. There, there are there's, there's a need to intensify in the developing world and a, a need to change practices in the developed world and I think we need to look at those uh, situations and not just think there's one uh, solution that's going to fix uh, all of these issues. Uh, it's going to be different solutions in different places with different uh, societal uh, requirements and, and I, I am actually very optimistic for the future that farmers will actually grasp uh, around the world will grasp the nettle and be able to uh, move forward uh, with better sustainability, but also better productivity. We need to produce more food, we need to waste it less, we need to produce more food at a lower environmental footprint. William, thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the forum today. Thank you very much.